Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer. Today we're here for yet another Civilization VI Wonder Spotlight, where today we'll be taking a look at the next to last of the industrial eras that we still have to cover, the Panama Canal. This one will probably be a short one because there isn't really a lot going on with the Panama Canal, but we are going to talk about it nonetheless, so let's go ahead and get straight into things. So the Panama Canal is a wonder that is unlocked with the steam power technology. This does make it an industrial era wonder, as I had mentioned. To get the Eureka for steam power, all that you have to do is construct two shipyards, so this is fairly easy in any game that you're going to have uh, a few coastal cities that have harbors in them, because by the time you reach uh, relative, you know, the relative proximity of steam power, chances are you'll have put down some shipyards, so very easy to get the Eureka for that. As far as the building requirements for Panama Canal are concerned, they are kind of confusing. I, I, I'll list them here anyways, but I'm going to try my best to explain them a little bit better, so... Pretty much what the gist of it is, is that it has to be two to three tiles that are adjacent to one another that have to be valid canal tiles. Um, so what this means is that you have to connect um, like two bodies of water or, well, I mean, or a city and a body of water or, um, you know, a city that's inland and a coastal city, I believe, is also technically valid as well. But either way, those have to be valid. I'm not sure about that last one, but it has to be a valid canal tile, canal tile which means it also does have to be flat land. You cannot put an, uh, any of these three tiles on hill tiles, which is a bit unfortunate. And as I mentioned, it uh, can be up to three tiles in length. So, um... This is a little bit hard to plan. Once you get used to kind of planning these out, then they're pretty easy to see. But um, I know at first that this can be a little bit tricky. So go ahead and, you know, try your best to identify these early on. Because trying to figure out where you where you, where you want to put Panama Canal later on in the game can be a little bit confusing. And it's very easy to accidentally mess up possible Panama Canal spots because you put a tile, you put a district on a tile um, that you would have needed for it. So the building requirements are kind of complex, but that doesn't mean they're hard to get in pretty much any game. You're going to have at least a few valid Panama Canal tiles because it's very easy to have like a city that has two adjacent, you know, uh, flatland tiles that's connected to a lake or something stupid like that. So although they are confusing and a little bit um, hard to understand, they are still, it is still very easy to have uh, valid spots for Panama Canal. It also does have a production cost of 920 production, which is comparatively low compared to most of the other Industrial Era Wonders, but um, this is a good thing, because otherwise I don't think anybody would build this wonder. And for its wonder bonuses, uh, the only one that it really has is that it gives you plus 10 gold per turn, which is, it sounds like a lot, but that's not really that good in the grand scheme of things. Um, the other bonus that, it, you know, it's not listed as a bonus, but the other thing you get is that you can use the canal as a canal to pass your naval units through it. And that's kind of the problem with Panama Canal. Um, as I mentioned, the building requirements are a little bit complex, but there's a lot of situations where you can build the Panama Canal, and unless you have a specifically good spot that you can connect two continents with it or something like that, or connect two giant bodies of water, or it, it ends up being like really strategically advantageous for you to connect you know, two bodies of water to maybe push across naval units or something like that, this is really just a terrible wonder. Getting plus 10 gold per turn is not worth it at all. Um, and you can build it in a lot of situations, but it's really just not worth it. The only times I would ever build it um, is whenever I see an opportunity to like really like saw a continent in half or something like that by using Panama Canal and other canals or something like that. So definitely a very gimmicky wonder. And now let's go ahead and talk about Panama Canal's wonder ratings. So if you are new to the series, all that you really need to know here is that these ratings go on a 1 to 5 scale with 1 being the worst and 5 being the best. So for its overall wonder rating, I think that the Panama Canal deserves a 1. This is, I think, maybe the first time we've ever had two 1 ratings in a row. Um, but yeah, this wonder is just, objectively, it's pretty terrible. As I mentioned, it's a very gimmicky thing that, sure, in some cases it can be really great and you can get, like, a really cool instance of, you know, like, sawing a continent in half and being able to pass naval units through the whole thing. But those opportunities are so rare that I really never find any use for this wonder and even if even whenever you do something like that the actual value that that gives you is generally very low so for that reason i think that this wonder is just absolutely awful thank god it at least is one of the cheaper industrial era wonders but still still a very bad wonder and very hard to make use of speaking of those use cases as i mentioned it's really only one it's connect it's to connect two c's which 
it's pretty cool in practice, but <laughs> very underwhelming in actual uh, reward out of that and uh, what, you know, what that actually does for you in a game. You do get that 10 gold per turn, which uh, it originally didn't have that, and it was like really, really, like it's borderline like zero rating. I don't even give zero ratings, but it would have gotten one, but at least you get a little bit of gold per turn. I would never build it solely for the gold per turn, though, unless I'm really far ahead and just building it to flex on people. As far as its difficulty rating is concerned, I think it deserves a 4, actually. Uh, so on Deity, the AI do like to build this wonder. I think it's just because, as I mentioned, there's a lot of spots where you can put down Panama Canal, and wonders like that, where like you can put them even if they're really bad, the AI really love those wonders on Deity, so they will build this thing faster than you can. So if you are going to build it, you should actually prioritize getting to Steam Power kind of fast and you know getting that wonder down, because otherwise, the Deity AI will steal it from you. And lastly, for its consistency rating, I think it deserves a 1. It's just very inconsistent, as I mentioned. There are the few cases, few and far between, where you can make really good use of Panama Canal and get a nice, you know, three-tile canal that connects up to, you know, maybe two more canals to saw an entire continent and a half, but those opportunities are so, so far between that it's, in most cases, just going to be useless. So for that reason, I mean, I guess it is consistent. It's consistently useless, but <laughs> for that reason, uh, the, the cases when it's, uh, in which its bonuses are useful are very rare, and I think it deserves a 1 in its consistency rating. So thank you everyone for watching. I have been the Saxy Gamer. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you're looking for some more Civilization 6 content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.